Here's little Holly. She's uh, five months now, aren't you, Holly? Hello, baby. You want to say hello too? Hi. <laughs> Everybody wants to say hi. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Won't you don't chew my pants, please? I've just got home from work, so they're a bit excited to see me. <laughs> they're just sitting outside on the grass. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hang on, come down here. <laughs> Hello, baby. <laughs> Hello, Ella. Hello. Everybody's so happy to see Mummy, aren't you? <laughs> yes, you are. Hello. Hello, you too, Lucy. Hi. And Lexi. Hey, Lexi. Hey, Izzy. Hey, Izzy. Hi, baby. Hi. <laughs> Oh, settle down, babies. G'day, guys. Welcome back. I've got a new mold that I've made. Uh, and I'm going to try something that I haven't done before. It is um, a little fish pond coaster. So what I'm going to use <laughs> is... Um, are these 3D stickers? Have you guys seen these? There's a lot of them, well, not a lot, but there's a few videos around on, on YouTube using these little stickers. So you pick which fish you want and you do you do the coaster or the bowl or whatever you're doing in layers. So the first one would be this one. Then you put down a layer of resin. Then you put that one, a layer of resin, then that one and, and so on and so on until you've got your fish. Um, I bought these on Amazon. They've got quite a few. That means I'm going to have to do lots. Hey, okay, so I'm going to pick a few to do. There's also some little ones. What else have we got? We've got some lilies. There's some leaves. All kinds of things. This is my favourite. I'm going to do this one, this bit of fish. I've only got one of those. That one's pretty cool too. Anyway, um, I went and got some oh, aquarium gravel and I've chosen the white just because I think that the fish will stand out better on a white base but then I was thinking maybe black so I'll see how these go and then I'll, I might do black so last night I put my gravel in a sieve over a big bowl and um, just rinsed and rinsed and rinsed it, it really wasn't dirty at all um, Sort of picking out ones that maybe aren't as white as the others, but they're only they're only little bits of gravel. So those are all nice and clean now. They dried overnight, and I'm going to put them in the base. I've got a little bit of resin here. I'm not quite sure how much I'm going to need just to cover the the pebbles or the gravel, um, and then I'm going to let that dry. So if you're doing this, try and pick a resin that's going to set up really quick. You don't want one that's going to still be sticky 24 hours later. Otherwise, it's going to take you a week to do these. So I know with this one, this is the Barnes Clarity. It doesn't have many bubbles. That's the other thing. Try and pick a resin that's really thin, a very low viscosity. Um, that won't be very bubbly because you want to have this as clear as possible with this particular technique. So... Um, I know that I can come and redo another layer maybe every three hours. So let's go. Now this mold that I made, um, I've made it 1.2 millimeters deep. Right, I've just filled those up. Um, now I've tried just to do one layer because I don't want to have too many stones in here and it's going to take up the depth of my my um, my coaster mold there so these are 1.2 centimeters thick you can buy these as well these are in usually a set of three I've just cut mine these are one and a half centimeters thick so they're a little bit thicker so you need something that's a little bit thicker otherwise uh, you know your pebbles are going to fill in the whole coaster and then you're not going to have room to do your layers so I'm trying to just do one layer of pebbles um, <laughs> it's a bit tricky though so try to do one layer of pebbles um, you know try and get I guess the smallest pebble you can get there was a smaller one but it wasn't white it was um, like a rainbow color so anyway we'll see how I go with this my, my first turn my first try 
Um, I'll see. And my camera turned off before, so I have to keep checking on it again. Right, so that's in. Just one layer of, of pebbles. Now I'm going to cover them with my resin. And I wasn't sure, again, how much to, to make up. Let's see how that goes. I put a little bit in each. Um, I've got 150 grams here. I do need it to go over the top to give me a smooth surface to put my first sticker on. So I'm not sure if I'm going to have enough or not. Mm, maybe not. It's close, but I don't think it's going to be quite enough. I have to mix up a little bit more because you can still see the pebbles poking through the top on a few of them. I guess it won't really matter. But um, I think I'll just make up just like another 50 grams. So that would be 200 grams. Um, yeah, I'll do that and I'll come and put some more in and get a nice smooth top. Made up a little bit more. The other thing you can do, like first of all, I bought these pebbles, which are quite big. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking buying them, um, but you could. I haven't washed them yet, so I haven't. I'm not using them, but you can use maybe a few of the bigger ones and push these little pebbles to the side, and then put the bigger ones in, so that they're actually taking up the whole, like the whole depth. And then you can just put your fish on the side. That I think that would look quite nice as well, just for a little bit of difference. So let's pour some more in. I'm just gonna make sure I don't put too much in because I need room for my, my layers. But as I said, I do want a smooth finish to start with. So I might just do this and like push them all down rather than adding more. I'm just going to smack them all, tap them all down. Okay, so that one's good. And there's a little gap there, so I'll just put another little pebble in there. There are going to be a few gaps because, you know, I I guess if I had more time I would spend filling in all the little gaps, but I think for the purpose of my first one I'm just going to do this. And uh, hopefully it will be all right. I think that's enough. I've got a little bit of resin left over. So I guess once it's all, once they're all down and, and level, you can then go ahead and if you see a little gap, you know, pop another pebble in. But yeah, there are going to be little gaps in this. You'll be able to, you know, see through a little bit, I guess. It'll be a little bit transparent. But if you had more time, not rushing like I am with the video, you could go and fill in all those little gaps which I may do I, I have to get a wriggle on I've got only got half an hour and have to go to the hairdresser getting my hair done today I need a bit more color in my hair my roots so <laughs> all the things us girls have to do so that's happening today so I've got to get a wriggle on get this done and then get ready to go and I need to give it a quick torch as well but uh, yeah, all the pebbles are now covered. We've got a nice smooth top there, which is nice. Now, I'm not going to put any more resin in. I don't want to fill it up any more than I have to. Okay, there we go. And give it a quick torch. Not too close. I don't want to damage my new mold I just made. So there's a few little pebbles sticking up. I can see them kind of sticking up. So um, I'll just spend five minutes on them, just poking them flat. There's a couple there that are sitting on top of each other, so they need to be lying, you know, flat. Single layered is what I want. All right, so I'm going to do that. And um, then I'm going to go to the hairdresser. And when I come back, so hopefully, because the hairdresser takes two hours, by the time I come back, um, hopefully this first layer will be set enough for me to put my sticker on. Just cleaning up the edges where I've spilt a little bit of resin. 
Um, and then we'll do the next layer, hey? All right, I think that's good. Uh, and I'm just going to use my oh, plastic drawer container just to cover it over so that we don't get any dust in it. Um, right, I'll see you for the next layer. Wish me luck at the hairdressers. <laughs> they don't come out with blue hair or anything. Hey, I'm back. <laughs> Had my hair done. It's looking all blonde and pretty again. It's really weird, isn't it? It's like I've been gone for three hours, three and a half hours, and it's only been like three seconds for you. So, I have mixed up some more resin. Actually, I should take my gloves off. Um, I did 80 grams, so hopefully 20 grams, 20, 40, 60, 80. Hopefully, I'll only need 20 grams. Just a thin little layer, that's all I want. Just washing my hands there to get the dust, you know, the powder off my hands from those gloves. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to put two in each. Like one there, one there, one there, one there. Except for this big blue one. I'm going to just, because he's a bit bigger, I'm just going to do one of him. Um, so it's, it's, you know, it tells you which one to do first. That one says one, and then two, three, four, five. So um, we'll just work out where we want him to be doesn't really matter it's probably a bit nicer if he's kind of off center a little bit so I know it's upside down for you I'm sorry but so I'm going to put him if you look at that one that's probably the biggest one which means his tail needs to be about there ish what did I say <laughs> oh my gosh um, about there where that little yeah about there where that little stone sticking up so um, the resin is nice and, well, it's not nice and hard, but it's relatively hard. Hard enough to stick that down anyway. So that's where he will be. And then you just got to rub it. You can get a little, uh, you know, some tissue or something. I'm a bit hesitant to put a tissue on because knowing me, it'll get stuck to the, the resin. So I'm just using my finger just to smooth it over. All right, so that's that one done. Um, now let's move on to this one. This one's going to have a sort of a yellow and white and orange goldfish. And then just a, an orange goldfish. So again, work out, like, get the biggest one, the biggest picture and work out where he's going to go so and then kind of so that's where his nose is going to be like on that big one there that big stone there so his nose can just go there ish see once it's down it's down so you have to make sure that you're in the right spot because there's no lifting these guys afterwards Make sure, yep, that'll fit. And then the other one, it's not a very big goldfish, this one. I did pick a big one and a small one, sort of on purpose, so that I knew they would fit. So he's going to take up about that much room. So the other one needs to be over here somewhere. And I'm going to put him sort of in the opposite direction. So his nose needs to be about there like so okay so that's him done there and there yay <laughs> moving on moving on all right same with this one now this is the biggest one so actually he's kind of curving this way so we'll put him here and he can kind of curve that way so his nose needs to be about there. Make a little dot so that I can remember which stone to put his nose on. Ah, oh, which stone was it? Where's my dot gone? It's gone. Um, yeah, there, that big, that big stone there. There we go. 
that's his nose somewhere there <laughs> oh look it doesn't matter if you have a tiny bit out as long as they kind of fit and look if they end up overlapping each other fuck, does it really matter i don't think so so that'll be him there and then i think they'll put the other one in the opposite direction so that's going to be the make sure he's going to fit first and his nose is going to be about there. I don't know if this is how you do it, but this is how I'm doing it to work out where his little nose is going to be. Like so. How's that? Yep, that'll fit. All right, so that's down. Three down, one to go. Right. Now this guy, he's kind of lending himself to be around there, around that edge. So, oh, hang on. See, that one's much wider. Better use that one to accommodate the width of that tail, hadn't I? And put his nose about there. Otherwise, I might run into trouble later on. Okay. So his tail will come out to there. That's okay, which means this one... This one's got a wide tail as well. He, his tail... Um, maybe we'll put him there actually what about going the opposite way mm. <laughs> i shouldn't have picked two that have got big tails oh oh well that's okay all right now that should work um i'll just put his nose about there there and then their tails can be kind of opposite each other. Is that it? Ooh, it's going to be close. I don't think I can pick him up now. No. No, once they're down, they're down. It's just going to have to, it's just going to have to be squished in a bit. Okay, so that's it. And I'm going to keep these, make sure they're in the, same spot there, so I'll remember whose is whose. So you're there, you're there, whoops, you're the top one, you're the top one, you're the bottom one, and you're there. Okay, um, this one's got an extra layer, so it's going to take me longer, otherwise maybe I can just add this one now. No, oh, it's alright, I'll come back. Oh, make sure we're still taping, yes we are. Okay, so now I'm just going to put a little bit of resin over those. It was pretty easy, wasn't it? <laughs> kind of. Um, the the greenery I'm going to add like almost probably the second last layer, so it looks as if it's you know floating on top because I don't want it to be down. Um, now a little bit of resin over the fishy. Over the fishy. You could if you wanted to. Um, put your resin down first and then put your sticker on but the only thing is with that is that your sticker is going to kind of float um, and I've seen when people did that their sticker actually floated and it, instead of being you know on top like that it had actually floated and moved off to the side when they weren't looking, you know, they'd come back an hour later and whoop, moved. So, hmm, maybe not a, an excellent idea. So I think this is, for me, this is better. I'm just going to add a little bit more. I'm just going to make sure that they've all got a covering. Whoops, there's a hair that just went in there. Get out of my fish pond. get it get out all right got him all right let's just 
put a tiny bit on. So as I said, I made up 80 grams. I don't know if that's maybe too much. I don't want to put it all on if I don't need to because, you know, I need the I need the depth. I need to keep as much depth on there as I can. So let's just spread this. Maybe I can get away with, say, 60 grams. Then I'll know for the next layer. So I don't want to overfill them and then I can't finish with my stickers because it's too full. So we'll just spread it and hopefully... Yep, see that that's working. I've got enough. Got a bubble on the side there. So when I come to do the next layer, um, I, oh yeah, I could probably talk you through it, and then the subsequent layers after that, I'll just um, I'll just fast forward. Otherwise, this is going to take forever, and it'll be another hour long video. <laughs> it's like. You know, get out the popcorn and the frozen coke and sit down and watch Pouring Your Heart Out because it's the length of a movie. Oh, some of my videos, but oh, I'm enjoying making them for you. I'm hopefully you're enjoying watching them. So it looks as if I'm not going to need all that extra. I think next time I'll just make up 60 grams which means we've got 15 grams per layer, hey? 60 divided by four is 15 grams, which is half an ounce. So I'll make up two ounces. And look, if you don't get total coverage on one layer, no one's gonna see it, it's clear, and you can fix it up on the next layer. You know, if you've missed a little bit, it's not gonna be a problem because you're gonna put another layer on anyway. So it doesn't really matter, as long as you've got that extra layer on top of your sticker. You should be good. I actually feel like going and buying some black gravel and trying it with black. But then you'd have to use quite light coloured fish on it, otherwise you wouldn't even see them. Okay, so there we go. Oops, missed a bit there. Looking good. Alright, I'll give that a quick torch. So oh, I should weigh this and see what's left. And I'll know. Well, it weighs 31 grams, which is an ounce, um, minus the cup. So I'll have to weigh an empty cup and see what that weighs. And see how we go. All right, that's the, that's the second layer. Make sure you get any little hairs and things out before it dries. Cover it again straight away. Um, I'm going to torch it again in five minutes and I'm going to cover it. But uh, so far so good. All right, it is quarter to one in the afternoon. I'm going to go and have a coffee, sit with the doggies for a bit. I might even watch a movie. And I'm going to come back to you in another three hours for the next layer. All right, see you then. Righto, let's do the second layer. I made up 60 grams of resin this time round. And uh, we'll see how we go. Now this little guy here, um, I actually had to look at a photo of how they actually went. And uh, this number two, See, that's the top, and then the body comes through here, and then the other one comes underneath the body. So I'm going to try that. I think it kind of goes like that. It's a little bit tricky when you haven't got instructions. So that's his, that's the back of his fin. And then I think it goes like that. I'm just going to leave enough space. Oh, I don't know. For his body. See that? That's, that's the back of his fin. That goes about there. And then this other one comes underneath here. So about there, I think. Oh, I'll just put my finger in the resin. Oh, God. Oh, God. Hang on. Let me clean that off. Oh, my gosh. 
<laughs> Grab a baby wipe, spray it with some alcohol, and um, wipe it off <laughs> straight away. Yeah, see, it's still a bit, it's a bit tacky, so gotta be careful not to put your fingers in it. Now, that should, that'll just cover over once it's um, once I put the next layer on. So I think that's, I think that's where it goes. It's really hard to tell. <laughs> And then that sort of comes in there like that later on, I think. All right, I'll just cover up that little area that I've stuck my finger in. What can I, what can I cover that with? Maybe if I heat it. Oh, no, I think it'll be all right. Once you put the next layer on, it'll be fine. All right, so that one's really tricky to do. Let's move on and do this one. This is number two. This one's not going to be so hard. You know, once you've got your first layer on, they're relatively easy because you can just go nose to nose. And don't put your fingers in the resin. Maybe hold, I think I'll do that and then hold my hand above. So basically I'm just going to go nose to nose. And then that's it. Push that one down and there we go. Look, he's got a tail. <laughs> and then the next one... Make sure you're on the right, on the right one. So I've dropped a blob of resin on that sticker. Okay, next one. Peel that off. And again, I think the easiest thing is just to go nose onto nose. There we go. <laughs> it's it's trickier than it looks. It really is. It's a bit tricky. Make sure you smooth it out. You haven't caught any bubbles underneath. All right. Two down. Halfway halfway down. <laughs> All right. This one. So yeah, as I said, when I come to do my next layer, I'll just um I'll just fast forward it because you don't need to hear me talking about it. I'm just going to do exactly the same thing. Oops, oops, oops. Picked him up then when I shouldn't have, but hopefully it'll be all right. I think he's okay. Come around this side and have a look. All right, I think he's okay. Yeah, it's just a bit tricky. So the sort of the trade-off is, um, you know, either putting the sticker on when the resin's dry and then it's sticking and you're not being able to lift it off, or putting it on wet resin, but then you've got the risk of it um, moving and your, your sticker moving and floating away. When you don't want it to. Okay. Oh my gosh. All right, let me just wipe my fingers. I've got some more resin on me. Squirt some more alcohol. I've just got the alcohol and I just squirt it onto the baby wipe and then um, I can get that off my fingers. Because it, it does give me a rash if I touch it. It might not for everyone, but it, it does for me. Right, here we go. I guess as I go along, I'll get better at this. First attempt. I don't think anyone's ever perfect at anything on their first attempt, are they? I know I'm not. I'll put my hand there. Now I'm going nose to oh, nose to nose. Nose to nose, body to body. There we go. That was better. Smooth that down. So it's almost touching there. Doesn't matter. Fish, when they're in their bowls, they bump into each other all the time. Okay, so that's that one done. Now this one. Just got to be careful that you don't tear the body off when you're trying to take the, the tail as well. Okay, now this one's going that way. See, I'm using my left hand. That's the problem. Put my finger there. 
How's that looking? Ah, oh, now it's stuck to me. Oh, no, I'm in the wrong spot now because it's stuck to me. I'm just going to push it. Oh, that worked. Pushed it a little bit on the, the wet resin underneath. Just made a little bit of a, a ridge there, but I, I don't think you'll um I don't think you'll notice that once the next layer goes on. Right, oh my gosh, that was that was tricky. You guys will have to um, have a try of these. Let me know how you guys go. All right, now I'm going to just pour some more resin in. Let me get my gloves on. Just in case. Okay, it's starting to go quite warm. Now I haven't got as much resin here that, as I did last time. So we'll just put a little bit on and each and then I'll spread it out. Like so, hopefully this is enough. A little bit more. I can feel the sticker under my pop stick scratching the sticker. So obviously there's not enough there. Let's go to the edges. I'll just do this one for you and then I'll I'll finish them off without you. So yeah, if you're going to do this, <laughs> I would advise you to do use a resin that's going to set pretty quickly because if you have to wait 24 hours between each layer, um, I guess it's okay if you know if you're doing other things in the meantime, other little projects, and you just come and do this for half an hour a day. That that's and you're okay with that, then that's okay. But if you want to get it done quick, smart like I do, the whole thing done in 24 hours, you really need to. Pick a resin that's going to set quickly. Okay, there's the first one. Right, I'm going to finish the others and uh, I'll come back to you in uh, four hours for the next layer. Right, it's the next day. Now, as you can see, this fish here still needs two stickers and the rest of them just need one. So I'm just gonna do this guy here. I'm gonna put a few leaves and things on those. Um, and then I'll wait another four hours and then I'll do the top coat on all of them. And I do need to tell you about the top coat. Now, see, I've got a bit of a gap there because I didn't put these two close enough to each other. So. Hopefully when this one goes on, it'll cover that gap. That's what I'm hoping anyway. All right, see, this is all, oh, this is a really tricky one, this one. Um, get in there. Right, now again, nose to nose, start nose to nose. And then, oh, it's a bit of a curve, so I think, Gosh, I'm going to try and cover that little gap there as much as I can. The resin is dry now, so it doesn't matter if I put my fingers on it. How's that? 
I think that's... Oh. See, if you wait till your resin's dry, you can actually move it. But then that means waiting 24 hours. I'm going to actually see if I can twist this a little bit. Just so I can get a little bit more of that tail. I don't know. No, maybe not. I just have to match the head up, really. Okay, there we go. That'll do. Um, so, one more layer. And that will... Yeah, that'll cover up those gaps there. So that'll be next. Now, I think I'm going to put some of these leaves on this one just because I've got them. And then I don't know what else I'm going to do with them. So we'll just add a few sort of around the edges like that. I like that one. And then this one here is kind of a broken one. And then um, just a little one, I think, on the other side there. Like so. How's that look? Actually, and maybe just a one of these little one of these little broken ones, hey? Just for a little bit of interest. There. Okay, that looks pretty cool, doesn't it? Now let's add some more stickers to these guys. They've each got a big one, so let's add a little one as well. This is fun, you guys. Cheers. And a little bit of a, a leaf. Might as well use them up. Let's put them wherever. <laughs> Alright, so I've got a couple left on that one. Now, I'm going to bring you down. Actually, put this coat on. I'm going to bring you down because I want to show you something about what this casting resin does to the top layer. Um, I can't use the casting resin, this this one, um, to do my final layer, and um, I will show you why in a minute. I'll bring you down, but I'm just going to spread this out. I don't know if it's all casting resins, but certainly the ones that I've tried um, are no good for top coats. If you want a nice, um, clear smooth finish you're probably going what is she talking about I'll show you in a minute I'll just do this and I'll get you down and I'm going to show you exactly what I mean so once this is dry in about four hours and I come back and I put these other actually I might even put these other stickers on now because it won't matter if I put them on now or later I might as well fill you up a little bit because you're only having a top layer on. Um, <clears throat> I just made up 30 grams. I did 10 and 20. 20 grams of part A and 10 grams of part B because <clears throat> I didn't need very much just for that one. All right, I'm going to get you down. Now hopefully you can see what I mean. Look, at, look across the top. That's a bit difficult with the light, but look at see there how it's got that kind of oil slick finish to it. My camera's trying to focus on that light. Let me come this way. Nope, I need to do it in, with the light behind me. Okay, anyway, there it is. See the center as well? We get that like an oil slick look. 
put it back on there it is again see that now obviously we don't want that on our coasters and you can actually feel it it feels rough and there again which is a real shame it, it really spoils the whole surface it's not nice and smooth and, and clear you see that see this one here that's wet now that that's what we want sorry it's it's trying to focus on that light but anyway that's that's the issue um, with the casting resins I've tried anyway I don't know if it's all of them but the ones I've tried all leave that oil slick look on top so <clears throat> the only thing that I can do now is when I do a final coat is to use um, a coating resin like an art coat um, I'm going to use the what have I got that one I'm going to use that one the um, Barnes epoxy glass uh, and that's a coating resin so that's going to give me a beautiful smooth clear top coat and it's actually going to dome over the top so it's a thicker resin um, so yeah that's what I'm going to use so I'll come back in uh, four hours and uh, we will do that top coat all right so I'll see you then Rightio, guys, I am done. What do you think? Aren't they just adorable? Adora bubble. <laughs> so there they are. As you saw, I just put the top coat on. Use that um, resin that was specifically for coat so that not instead of casting and you can see on the edge there um, how it's doming but I will take you down in a minute and show you across the top hopefully we'll be able to pick it up and they're so cute look at them yes you are you're just adorable and I can't wait to unmold you all tomorrow <laughs> I will have to wait I have to be patient All right, let's see if we can see across the top. Now, I know the ring light's in the way, but I'm trying to get the shot of the doming. You can see there how it's made like a little dome over the top of the, the coaster molds. See, that's what I mean about the doming. And it's beautiful and shiny. At this stage, pick out any bits of hair and dust that you might have because you don't want to, them to spoil your surface. So there we go. A little happy family of fishies. All right, I'll see you all tomorrow for the grand unmolding. So exciting. That was so much fun. See you then. Good morning, good morning. The time has come. Finally, after, what was it, five layers, here we go, they're, um, they're dry. I've got my glove on the wrong hand. Let's put it on the other hand. And then I can hold the coasters with my left hand. 
and I hope that they, they pop out okay. Hang on, I need to loosen them. <laughs> right, I just had to run my hand across in front of you to um, just start loosening those. Here we go. They're really thick, these coasters. I'm just going to push down like that. All the way around. It's out! Oh my gosh! Look at it! Wow! That looks so much better than I expected it to. And look, you can see through. How cool is that? Oh, I love that. I'll be careful not to touch the top. Now, I am thinking <clears throat> um, of painting the edges um, in silver or, or in gold because I don't want people to, like, look through the sides. And the sides aren't really all that attractive either. It's the top that's... Oh, I wonder what the bottom looks like. Ah, stones. <laughs> it's just stones. Um, but, yeah, and look at that. No, no marks on the top. Look across the top look how gorgeous and shiny that is no oil slick or anything like that because it's a coating it's a top coat resin right I'm just gonna put this I've got my black tray my jewelry tray I'm just gonna pop it over there for a minute let's get the next one out now this one I can see it's got a little bit of overflow here obviously put too much resin in that one so Oops, I'll have to just sand that, that little edge. Just take your time, pull them out gently. You don't want to tear your mould. Oops, I've got it, yeah, I've got a little bit of overflow there. So, oh, look at that, perfect, came out perfect. There she is, or he is, he's blue, so maybe it's a he. There's a couple of little bubbles I can see, but they wow, they're right on the bottom. Yeah. Actually, maybe that maybe I need to put down a little layer of resin first and then torch it and then put the bubbles in. Um, the bubbles. The um the pebbles in. Because I can see a few tiny, tiny little bubbles on the bottom there. So where's my overflow? There. That little bit there. So you can either, if it's a big area, you can trim it off with some cuticle scissors or you can just use an emery board and just sand it. I won't do it here now because I'm going to get dust all over everything. I'll take it outside and do it or I'll do it over the laundry sink. But Yep, love that one too. All right, here we go. Let's get the next one out. so much fun you guys oh they look good on the black background this is what I was thinking maybe um, you know black pebbles would look nice I'm gonna have to shop around and see if I can get some tiny little black pebbles they did actually have some black gravel at the pet shop I think I already told you that so yeah little little rough areas there that just need to be sanded ever so slightly where I've run over or it might have been just where I've dripped I'm not sure so there's that one I do like how you can see through underneath. Beautiful and smooth and glossy over the top. So don't put any fingerprints on the top, will you? Make sure you're wearing a glove when you demold. All right, let's get the last one out. Ta-da! Look at it! Oh, oh, these are so much fun, you guys. They've got a bit of weight to them too. I don't normally pour this thick, you know. As I said, it's 1.2 centimetres thick. Not sure what that is in inches. Must be about half an inch, I think. Because there's two and a half centimetres in an inch. So it must be half an inch thick. So they're quite weighty. Love it. Right, let's move this gorgeous mold out of the way and bring these babies in. Righty-o, look at that. How good do they look? 
on the black background, hey? So pretty. All right, I'm going to go and set them up outside. And um, just zoom them in a little bit more. I'm going to set them up outside and, and take some photos for you. There's that one. Do they look real? <laughs> I think they look pretty good. My first attempt. Love it. So much fun. Have a go, you guys. And uh, join uh, Pouring Your Heart Out on Facebook. The link is below. And um, have a go at these. I'd love to see your creations, whether you use a coaster mold or a bowl or a teacup or whatever you want to try. Give it a go and show me. I'd love to see them. All right, I'm going to go and set these up and I'll show you the finished product in a tick. Stay tuned.